Hi, this is Kelly from threeboysanadog.com. Thomas, you can't talk, baby. As usual, I have help on my video. Trip's behind the camera, and Thomas is beside me watching me and grinning like a Cheshire cat. So, today, I'm going to tell you all about my brand new toy. My Eureka Airspeed Multicyclonic Pet suction power deep cleaning amazing epa filter vacuum cleaner right we'll see what the actual name is of this thing suction seal upright vacuum with air speed technology it's mama's new toy <laughs> if you read if you read my blog at all um you see just the other day i actually wrote a post about the arm and hammer pet fresh dry carpet cleaner so the reason I have this new vacuum cleaner is because I was sent this to review and I poured it on my carpet and I followed, well, after a few tries, I actually followed directions <laughs> and then my vacuum cleaner would not suck it up. So I had this white streak, you see this on my carpet down here? I had this white streak across my carpet and I contacted the company and said that my vacuum cleaner was crap and I would, I need to do something, and the company sent me this amazing Eureka vacuum cleaner. Then, I contacted them and told them how much I loved my new amazing Eureka vacuum cleaner, and that it sucked up the arm and hammer right away, and were they interested in hosting a giveaway? And they were. So if you go to 3boysandadog.com, you'll get to win one of these amazing new toys. Okay, so let's talk about this real quick. Seriously, it has so many features to it that the day that it arrived, I forgot to pick up Trip from school. Yeah. <laughs> because I was playing around with my toys. Thomas, I'm missing the pet paw. Will you run get it? Where is it? I don't know what y'all did with it, but go look in there for me. Okay, so it has a pet paw, which hopefully Thomas will go get. I have kids. Stuff doesn't last very long here. <laughs> it has a HEPA filter. It has a bagless, it's a bagless vacuum. Yay. And you can see all the dirt in it right now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nasty. My husband used it. He doesn't empty it. I empty it every time just because I like to see all the dirt fall out. What's really neat about this thing, obviously, all the steps, but it's it has suction plates. So, I don't know if I can show you. Okay, forget it. I'm not going to try to show you. So, no matter what size carpet or non-carpet you're on, that's it. No matter what carpet, if it's a thick carpet, if it's a barely there carpet like this one, as you can see, this is our playroom floor. See my brand new green walls? Yay! This oh. playroom floor has no, it's not thick at all, whatever that's called. Um, so I put it on low carpet, and it makes, there's like these things on the bottom. Can you see that, trip? Yeah. Yeah, there are these things, you hear it. And it like gets tight onto the floor so that it makes it like a suction. Well, as we know when we play with our hoses, if we put the hose down on the carpet like that and it says instead of it's obviously making a suction and it's sucking a whole lot more out of it. This does that because suction makes it easier to suck stuff. It has pretty long tube and I don't know exactly how long but I will find out on my information sheets and that information will be on my blog. What's neat about the tube is that you can choose if you want to vacuum your floors then all of the suction comes here. If you want to use your attachments you just spin this little dial right here it stops sucking here and starts sucking here. So you're not wasting all your sucking power. Need a new word, sucking. I can't see what I'm doing. I could get up, I guess, but yeah. Okay. It 
also has the Pet Paw, which my last vacuum cleaner had the Pet Paw, and it was like the first vacuum cleaner with the Pet Paw. This is awesome. This is like its own little vacuum cleaner for upholstery. It has the spinning brush, it has rubber grips to pick up dog hair and my hair. <laughs> and you just stick it on the bottom of your hose and go to town. It also has, and this is what I like. This is another thing I like. It has this, can you see this down here, Tripster? On the camera, baby. Yeah. Hey, you can look around the camera. Can I see This turns your roller brush on and off. And my roller brush is on, I'm vacuuming. It's like my sound effects. When I set it up, you see that? Watch it. It turns off. And you can just hit it with your feet. You're going to chop my head off. but So I'm vacuuming. I turn off my roller and I go on to hardwood floors. So the roller brush doesn't scratch up or ruin my hardwood floors, which I don't have. But if I did. I do have linoleum and I turn it off for that. It has the power cord. Just comes right out of it right here. Push the button. Wind it right back up. Sorry, I'm plugged in because I want you to be able to hear it. And because I want you to see me suck up all this Arm & Hammer stuff, hopefully, right here. It's still a little wet. Arm & Hammer. Alright. So, I'm going to have to quit talking because it's fixing to get loud. Fixing to, that's a southern word for you right there. Mm. Have a filter. I want to show you the filter. Here's your filter <coughs> right here. And it's right the, oh, there we go. Right here. Odor absorbing. Um, something else really unique about this thing is there aren't very many twists and turns. Like a lot of vacuum cleaners, your suckage stuff like turns, so it doesn't have as much power. These just have one little thing. They, they try to, tried to keep it as straight as possible. Um, it comes with two attachments. Your little scrubby brush, which Can't also has the rubber. It. Oops. It also has the rubber tips here, and your crevice tool. Again, I have boys. You would be amazed at the amount of stuff that goes into crevices. I, I have no idea. I will clean. The boys will walk into the room after they've gotten out of the shower, so they should be clean, and all of a sudden there's dirt everywhere again. Seriously, I vacuum several times a day, every day, since I got this. And you can see this thing is max. Oh, I shouldn't be vacuuming with it, but I'm going to, and then I'll wipe it. All right, all foot, and Not dry. Okay, so the stuff's not dry, so I can't show you that. So I'm going to cl clip this, and after it dries, I'm going to come back and videotape that again. And then I'll just splice them together. So we're going to wait on it to dry all the way. All right. And then we'll play with the vacuum cleaner again. And remember, you can get one at threeboysandadog.com. Woohoo! So I'm an idiot. I um, complained that the stuff wasn't dry and that's why I wouldn't suck it up and yada 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 and blah blah blah. And I forgot to reset the thing because I showed you how it worked with tools and how it worked with floor. So I grabbed my thing, my canister, and I went and I emptied it while I was waiting on this to dry. And I came back and as I walked back in I saw that I didn't flip it. So I just sucked a little bit of it up right there just make to sure. make sure. And then we push the power back on. So here we go. We're on floors. And we're down. Make sure our roller's on. Which I could do with my foot, but I wanted to. I wanted y'all to see my pretty face. Yeah. Turn the power on.
Mommy.